taking to the pitch as a professional, a refugee from Iraq who moved to Kitchener nine years ago is now playing in Portugal as a professional soccer player. In this week's On the Roster, CTV's Matthew Ette explains how the teenager didn't let a disability deny him of his dreams. Dreaming of becoming a professional soccer player. Many years I've uh, just trained alone in the streets, on the fields, anywhere I could. After moving to Kitchener when he was 10 years old, Sahara Nice decided to pursue pro soccer under the tutorship of Kevin DeSerpa, an ex-pro. He told me that uh, he found the person that he wants to be like and can push him to the maximum limit that he's never been to before. I made a promise to stay with him and help him coach the kids and uh, hopefully get some training in and also follow the dream of becoming a professional footballer. Almost a decade after coming to Canada. Here I am at 19. He sent me to the club called Ardi Agada and um, I signed my first professional contract. Now, playing Division II soccer in Portugal, he admits the journey wasn't easy. At the age of one, Sahar fell on a knife, damaging his eye. After thinking it would heal... The eye started to itch a lot. So I went to get it checked out again with the family, and um, it seemed that the doctor forgot a stitch inside my eye, which damaged a lot of muscles inside my eye, which caused me my vision. Growing up without sight in one eye put his soccer career at risk. It was very difficult for me to train and uh, to understand and know what is behind me. But he persevered. It just came from many times and, and, and days of training in my basement, blindfolded to with the ball and, and get used to the feeling of the ball at my feet. Defying the odds. He just signed professional soccer and he has one eye. This is almost unheard of. Along with being a refugee, De Serpa believes the hardships Sahar went through as a child are what built him into the player he is today. To be in that situation, I mean, your mind is going crazy. You're out of your comfort zone, you're going away from your house, you're going away from your country. A lot of people take that as a negative thing or they feel sorry for me, but I, I, like, to be, I like people to be happy for me because of, of this, because it has really helped me a lot as a, as a person. Being a role model for younger players. Always be a dreamer and uh, work towards your dreams because it is possible, as you can see. Matthew Ette, CTV News, Kitchener.